Okay. Well, one of my replies on one of my YouTube posts said something about, well, Mr. Sizemore, you don't have to brag about your work. We all know that from what you've done here, you do good work. And, and that bothered me because, y'all, I'm not a braggart. It probably come across wrong. I was just really excited because, you know, when you get one to lay in with less than a half thousand run out on the seat, that's the reason to be happy. So, to the individual that sent that in and I posted it, I apologize. In no way, I have nothing to brag about. Not in my eyes. I know where I am in the scheme of things as far as comparisons of who is the best porter. I never claim to be that. I'll be honest with you, I probably ain't in the top ten. But I'll go out of my way to make sure it's as perfect as I can hand it, especially when you consider what I'm charging money-wise for what you're getting. So to that one guy that posted that video, it was not in any way I was not bragging on myself. What I was trying to point out is it pays off when you put the hour yank. I think you even pointed out you got eight hours in a valve job. A lot of people would say, oh, you must be retarded. You don't know what you're doing. That is not the truth, as you know. See, I know how long it takes to really nail one of these using the stones, or even if you've got a Surdy or a VG, you have to do that finessing, then come back and hit it with the stones. So that's what makes the difference from a perfect ceiling valve job that will last a long time from one that won't. So, I just wanted to point that out, because I would never, the last thing I am is that. I don't, I just don't do that. So, please, I'm sorry if that come across that way. All right, anyway, let's get on to the fun part. This, we're in the 8.0 section. This is the finessing, the finalization, and blending, and getting it absolutely as perfect as you can get it. I'm after them numbers. I want to see Mr. Imhoff's face smile when he sees that a 185cc 40-year-old cylinder head is beating everything out of the box at 185 and walk out here and buy. That's a pleasure that I get out of doing this job. All right. Now, while I'm going in there and resetting the bowls, as I call it, I can knock out two birds with one stone. What I drawed up here for you is the three pickup points that I'm going to use on Mr. Imhoff's head. Um, I start using pickup points after stage three. So 3.5, 4, and then I, I haven't done but one of these in two years of stage five, and that's pretty nasty stuff. I really have tried to get away from that because that involves welding and a bunch of other stuff and people just don't want to pay what it costs to do it. I used to do it in super stock and stock eliminator classes when I dabbled in that some, which y'all know from my website, I've got uh, two engines that I did and set the national records that right now to this day hasn't been broken yet, but more on that later. These are my three pickup points that I chose for Mr. Imhoff. The bowl, which is what I'm working on now, since I'm having to reset the bowl anyway, I'm going to set them to a measurement. The short turn, which is at the roof, three inches in, where I'm going to go in there and take my snap and make sure all of them have got measurements pretty close to the same. Now, let me clarify that. Uh, my snap gauges and my hands and my caliper... If I get them within, say, 10 thousandths, because, you know, at this point here, golly, man, it's getting really tricky. You know, if this is when it gets scary. My hands shake a little bit because I've cut so much, and these are older castings. Uh, I actually got my sonic checker, which I'll show you that. I'm going to let you take a look at the amount of meat that's in there that I'm dealing with. Okay, it's short term from the tallest point where it'll pass through, and the third, the last one I'll do is the push rod width. Now what I picked for this one is 1060. And the reason I did that, I went in there with my sonic checker and on, a, on, on two of the ports, I've got uh, 1.080 I'm fixing to bust through. And like I said, it has to do with course shift. I got a sonic them. 
You always do it this way. On them measurements right there, you pick the port that's the crappiest. It's got the thinnest one. So if core shift and casting thinness, I've determined, say, that the number 7 and the number 6 port have measurements that are thinner than all the rest, those are the ones I go off of. I plop the port around that. On every stage 3.5 and up, I do a complete sonic map. I use three pickup points, and I'll go in there, and I draw all eight of them up, and whichever one's got the thinnest one, that's the measurement. That's why some heads, let's say I have a, two sets of Pro Max cylinder heads, okay? And uh, on them two sets of Pro Max cylinder heads, uh, I'll go in there and sonic them. I'm liable to get a shift to the left on one, shift to right on the other, okay? When you get them kind of measurements, none of them's consistent. That's why you have to draw a sonic map. If you're going to hit them that hard and you're trying to make sure that all the measurements are where they're supposed to be, that's how come out of two pairs of Pro Max heads on stage four, let's say it was a 200cc Pro Max head. One head, one pair might be 240cc's, another pair might be 230. You never know what the final volume is going to be, uh, you know, until you sonic the head and see what you got. That's why, you know, I'll call them stage one, two, three, and four, because I can't guarantee a CC volume if the ports are core shifted on one more than they are the other. In other words, I'm at the mercy of the, of the core that these companies give me. But when I say stage four, that means three pickup points, pushing it to the max, trying to get the most I can with the castings that I have been given me. And the only way you can do this is with a sonic checker. That is the single most important tool in my arsenal. Okay, these are my three pickup points, bowl, short turn, push rod, and right now I'm doing the bowl. So let's take a look at what I got, uh, the, the numbers that I'm uh, looking at and everything, and let's go over it. 